So sex and gender, gender really matter in biomedical research now that we know that because of research that has provided findings, um, it's important to think about both sex, a biological variable that's determined by chromosomal complement and generally matches reproductive organs, as well as gender, which is a multidimensional psychosocial construct that refers to gender roles, expect expected behaviors, expressions of gender and uh, identity of girls, women, boys, men, and gender diverse people, both of sex and gender affect health and disease. And sex differences occur at all levels of biology. Let's first start at a cellular level. What we see are differences in gene expression at a cellular level by sex, we see different cells involved in pain processing by sex, different systems within the body, not just reproductive systems, but endocrine systems, hepatic systems, hematopoietic systems, pulmonary systems. We see differences in men and women. We certainly see differences at the organism level, whether it's a preclinical animal model or humans. At a cultural level, we're seeing different assumptions about sex and gender and how individuals may report their symptoms or the likelihood that men and women might report symptoms, for example, symptoms of depression. Women are much more likely to report those than men. And then in terms of environmental exposures, what women and men are exposed to, whether it's a toxicity or a policy change, at all levels, each of these levels, cellular, system, organism, culture, and environmental levels, we're seeing influences of sex. And these interactions occur across those systems. And I mentioned gendered assumptions also can affect the nature and practice of researchers themselves and how they interact with subjects in research studies.